Today we're taking a look at the Lennox Ultimate Comfort System in this home in Gurney, Illinois. It's a 2,700 square feet home. So here we have our outdoor unit. We still have the old unit heel in place. This is a Lennox air conditioner. Not that old, but it was replaced with what appears to be the exact same thing, but this is a heat pump. It's running right now. In the heating mode, it's freezing out here. So right now the temperature is minus one degree Fahrenheit. This is the Lennox SL25 XPV heat pump. In this house, we also got a ductless mini split for the garage, which is also running on the heating mode, but we're gonna cover that on another video. So this is a cold climate heat pump from Lennox. It has pretty amazing efficiency. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. And it's again, a variable capacity inverter heat pump. So it can adjust in small increments of capacity for both heating and cooling, providing very consistent, even temperatures on both the heating and the cooling. It's constantly monitoring outdoor temperature and making precise adjustment on the speed that is running based on that. It's mounted on brackets. As you can see, there is some moisture on the bottom that's freezing up. When it's running on heat pump mode, heating, the unit produces some condensation outside, so it's gonna be a little bit of water dripping. And right now, this heat pump is heating the whole house. It's uh, 48,000 BTUs of capacity. We'll take a look at the tag here. As we said, it's the SLP, I'm sorry, SL25 XPV 048 is a four ton. And this unit has amazing efficiency. It's a pretty much 20 CR2, very close to 10 HSPF2. And because it's a cold climate heat pump, this unit is able to maintain about 95% of its capacity down to five degrees outdoor temperature. And inside it's connected to a gas furnace. It's also the ultimate, ultimate series from Lennox. It's an SLP99, which we're gonna take a look right now. We're gonna walk inside. It is freezing, minus one right now. And we're gonna take a look at the thermostat first. Here is the main thermostat that controls the system. So it's the Lennox S40 smart thermostat, which is what is called a communicating thermostat. That's what makes the system really smart. So it's not just a smart thermostat, but this thermostat can communicate several parameters of operation with the rest of the equipment. So the outdoor unit, the gas furnace, and the thermostat, it's constantly monitoring the outdoor temperature, the indoor temperature, humidity levels, and making very precise adjustments to the equipment operation for comfort and efficiency. But uh, this is a zone house, so we have four zones. There, is a, there are electronic dampers in the ductwork. Uh, all the zones can be controlled from the main thermostat. We can see all four zones up here. Uh, right now we're looking at the master bedroom zone. Feels like 72, it's set at 72, 43% humidity. And if we go to status, that zone is not currently heating. But let's go to a zone that's currently heating. So the kitchen and living room zone is currently heating. It just switched to gas furnace. So we can see here auxiliary heat, which means the furnace just took over. The temperature, it's uh, right now minus two. Uh, heat pump was running for a little while, and now the furnace is trying to increase the temperature of some of the zones and it's also humidifying currently. We're gonna take a look at the rest of the equipment. But in this home, we have four thermostats. This is the main hub, the Lennox S40. There's also another thermostat up there in the bedroom area. It's two bedrooms and one bath that's controlled by its own individual thermostat. 
and then there's also well, this is one of the zone thermostats they're smaller thermostats so this is the Lenox smart zoning thermostat so each of these thermostats control the specific zone this one is the kitchen and the living room and then there is another thermostat down here in the basement where the equipment is so here's our equipment we're gonna take a look at that now but here is the sound thermostat for the basement so here we have the indoor portion of the equipment so we have our Lenox gas furnace it's an SLP 99 it's a variable capacity similar concept as with the outdoor units variable capacity what that means is this furnace can adjust its heating capacity the flame can change sizes from very small to maximum in 1% increments depending on how much heat is needed it also has a variable speed lower which will constantly adjust the speed and it's also communicating controlled by the same system here is our zoning board in this case again the system is zoned but the same system can be installed without zoning and here we have our humidifier to add some moisture into the home and we also have our air filtration system this is a really important part of the system so this is a five inch filter this is the Lenox carbon clean 16 so because it's five inches in diameter it allows for more surface area getting substantially more airflow into the equipment restricting the airflow to a minimum while getting really good air filtration and equipment protection uh, up here it's one of the dampers we can't really see it but there's an electronic damper in there that when one of the zones calls for heat or cooling it can open and close as needed so only one zone or multiple can be heated at the same time uh, simultaneously with different temperature control in this setup we also have here to the side the wall hasn't been patched yet there's going to be another cover just like this one our APCO X air treatment system so again what this does is two things number one it has a UV light inside that's going to keep our indoor coil clean and free of biological growth allowing it to operate at peak efficiency and reduce maintenance and most importantly the APCO X inside it has a carbon system it's a carbon cell that's going to trap and contain contaminants and making the air fresher so for efficiency here we have the certification sheet for this particular system so we have uh, HSPF 2 at the bottom it's 8.9 so that's the heating efficiency then we have CR2 at 20 and ER2 at 11.7 so it's an extremely efficient system then we're gonna have on the next page it's our heating performance for the heat pump so this heat pump uh, next page so here it is so at 17 degrees it has pretty much 100 percent capacity but the number i was really looking for is this the cop at five degrees so at five degrees this unit has a pretty good efficiency of 1.76 COP what that means is for every unit of every unit of uh, energy we give it it can give us 1.7 units of uh, heating capacity of, uh, of energy of heating energy and then we have here our capacity again 98% at 17 degrees so pretty much 100% of its capacity at 5 degrees the unit is still giving us 81% of its capacity uh, so this is 
There are other heat pumps that can go colder, such as the Mitsubishi that we saw outside for the garage. So this one is uh, still considered a cold climate heat pump. For this uh, 2,700 square feet home, it's a pretty big size home. Uh, this is the basement zone. There's another room over there. Uh, but for this particular home, uh, we tested the heat pump, was able to keep up the entire home at 72 degrees when the temperature outside was in the five to 10 degree range. Today is really, really cold. It's a minus two. The heat pump was keeping some of the zones, but once the entire home is calling for heat, the furnace takes over. So the beauty of this system is again, is dual fuel. So both the heat pump or the furnace can be used based on what's most efficient or most comfortable. And all that can be customized from the thermostat itself or the mobile app as well. We're gonna take a look at the mobile app settings here next. Uh, we can set our balance point. The balance point is uh, how we set what's preferred to be used, heat pump or furnace based on outdoor temperature, among many other settings, including humidity control and airflow. So this is what is called from Lennox, the Lennox Ultimate Comfort System. It's the best that Lennox has to offer. It's their most efficient system, the most comfortable, that can provide some of the best air quality, best humidity control, the lowest sound levels for this house. The sound level was quite important. As you can see, the furnace is in a closet right in the middle of the living space. The master bedroom is right above up there. So we're going to take a quick look at the mobile app, how you set the system. But in a nutshell, that is the Lennox Ultimate Comfort System with zoning. So here we're taking a look at the mobile app for, from the Lennox thermostat. So again, this house has zoning. So this is our home screen. We have the master bedroom. If we click on my home, we're going to see all four zones. Uh, as we were testing the system, we have it off for a little while. So the system is now recovering temperature. But in this case, we have the master bedroom set at 72. The basement is set at 72. It's starting to recover the temperature. So if we go to master bedroom status, it's gonna show us what the system is doing. So it's heating and it's also using our auxiliary heat right now as we're trying to recover temperature quickly. And it's also adding some moisture into the home. Uh, in this particular system, we also have the Lennox Air Quality Monitor, which is an accessory that's mounted on the wall. And what it's doing is it's monitoring the air quality of the home. It's measuring CO2, particulates, and VOCs, and giving us an air uh, quality reading. Uh, for example, when they start cooking in the home, it quickly turns yellow, and then the system, uh, as it filters the air with the purifier and the filter, it brings it back to green pretty quickly actually. Also, if you have a large number of guests, typically the CO2 will go up uh, right away. Opening a window can improve that. But let's take a look at the settings. Heat and cool. So here's how you control the dual fuel heat pump in this case. So we have this setting here. So in this particular case, we have it set at zero and five. What that means is the selection on the left is where you want to disable the heat pump from running and only use the gas furnace. So we just adjusted this to how we're gonna be setting it for this home. Uh, before we saw the heat pump was running at minus two, so we had it a little different just for testing. But, and the setting on the right is where we want the furnace to not be enabled to run. So basically, whenever the temperature is five degrees or more outside, only the heat pump will be allowed to heat the home. When the temperature is between zero and five, the system will automatically decide whether to use the heat pump or the gas furnace. And when the temperature outside is zero or under, only the gas furnace will be allowed to run. This is fully user definable based on preference, whether you prefer the heat pump heat, the furnace heat, uh, what kind of comfort and also what kind of uh, energy source you like to use and also cost of operation. At very cold temperatures, a heat pump will cost a little bit more to run, but it can also feel a little bit more pleasant heat-wise, uh, more consistent temperatures. So that's something that can be adjusted uh, and also can be changed at any time very easy with this application.
So that's the end of this one. Again, the Lennox Ultimate Comfort System with a dual fuel system with zoning, heat pump. Really, really cool system. Uh, one of the most common questions that uh, comes up with this one is how much does this cost? So that's a kind of hard, of a hard question to answer because it varies so much home to home. But uh, for a system like this, typically anywhere from twenty to $35,000. This particular one was about $27,000. Uh, there's a lot that varies home to home, what city you're in, what permits might be required. Uh, if you're doing brand new zoning with brand new duct work, definitely it will cost a little bit more. But uh, it's worth it because it's a system that's incredibly efficient, super quiet, and the comfort is just very stable, uh, even cozy temperatures through the whole house with good humidity control, good air quality, and just blissful quiet. So that's, that's uh, totally worth it. Uh, but any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.